Welcome back, Wowsery. Today I'm gonna design myself an Italian World War pre before World War One battle cruiser. Now, Italy didn't do one, but it's kind of designed on a. a I kind of forgot Dante something or another. I was just kind of looking at that one. Trying, you no, know, maybe I can do something similar to that one. But with this hull, I, I'm not sure I'll be able to. You no, know, it had four triple turrets. Kind of like how you would see the Russian battleships. You no, know, one up here, two amidships, and one back here. Hmm. Let's see what I can do with this. 33 knots. That's actually kind of fast for a battle cruiser of this era. The, bat the dreadnought of this time was semi-oil for uh, for Italy. Uh, I think I thought I saw they used Harvey, but eh, I'll go with I'll go with Krupp too. I'll go with single hull. Protection. <laughs> oh, let's try white powder today. That may or may not do anything, but okay. Main towers. That one has all the best stuff, but this one's the smallest, and that's kind of what I was looking for. Something small. Secondary tower. Go with that one. Funnel. Oh, that's as far up as I can go. Yeah, let's take a look. Funnel. Right there. No, not much I can do with that. I'll place it right there. Oh, well. Place it right there. Might be able to do something. I've got something in mind here. Ooh, hmm. Do I go for the less weight? Maybe higher rate of fire and all that? And let's see if I can do this. Yeah. Okay, I'll go with that. Kind of a weird, strange layout. Although not really, no, that is kind of a the, the dreadnought layout right there. Just a bit more awkward. Okay. Hmm. No, actually, not too bad. Really? I'm kind of actually surprising myself a little bit. Add some torpedo tubes. Uh, let's bring it up to seven inches. Bring that up to eight inches. Bring that up to eight inches. Add a couple right here. Speed is twenty eight. Sixty six percent. 
13, 23, playing with funnels here at the odd turn. Nope, I can't do that. Hold on, let's see. The towers. Ah. Don't you hate it when you do stuff like that? Let's remove the main tower. And I think this will actually help with what I... Ah, oh, now it's overweight. Darn it. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. And bring that up to the max. Okay, right there. Italian ships were very much uh, fast ships. Maybe light on armor. Can I get any? Yeah, put a couple of two inch guns in. Maybe they'll start a fire or so. All right, we'll go with this. See how the, the computer designs here. Click to continue. Looks like what one, two, th at least three main turrets, maybe four. And smoke is spotted to the north, and they already, they've got us spotted, and we don't have them spotted. Trying to keep my water intake up. Don't drink enough. And nothing. I think I was a I was a, I was bow heavy. I thought it was under ten percent. At least thought it was last time I looked. I'll just reduce the speed here just a little bit here. I've already got a hit. Oh, he's got some wing turrets. One, two, three, four. Kind of same to what I've got, you know, except I don't have twins up here. I've got them back here. So what do you think? 11 or 12 inch guns? I don't know. Two, hmm, three funnels. I wonder what their speed is. by a 9 inch gun. Are these 9 inch or is that a 9 inch? That would be very interesting. And there's flooding. Lots of flooding here. For, looks like, what, one hit or so that... I guess these are 9 inch guns. Not that it matters. I don't think my armor's that great against nine inch guns either. 
89 percent 92 well, we're going to get our answer here shortly oh rudder's out 100 no they it did arm it with nine inch guns mm. oh whoa already sank by flooding wow minimum bulkheads yeah that that's gonna hurt them let's see what else do they have they got anti-flood too and a double hull anti-torque 2 which actually I think is better than what I've got I think mine has <coughs> Anti Torp 1, Single Hull, Anti Flood 1, but standard bulkheads, that may be the difference here. And bigger guns. They've got 9 inch, I've got 11 inch, and 6 inch. And 2 inch. Only 2 torpedoes. Huh. Surprising. Man, look at that lean. Mm. Got another flood here, looks like. What does this ship have? No, a communication tube that runs the entire length that can't close off and so floods one area, it floods the rest of the ship. Oh, what are you aiming at right there? And meanwhile, that one's gone under. Beneath there was other lifeboats and stuff out. And eh. And let's see, incoming, am I going to hit anything? No. Two more incoming, nope. So it just looks bow heavy, four heavy, doesn't it? With that barbette right there. Although not too bad of a, really I'm not, I'm not too, kind of a interesting design. Oh, there was a hit. Uh, he fired a torpedo. I'm going to try and make a turn here, see if that helps. And always goes so slow, it's like, okay, what's going on? Man, if I'm not careful, I'm going to run into my own torpedoes here. Right there it is. More flooding. Let's see what's the computer gonna do. Turn off that way. Okay. Oh, 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 boom. Wow. Is that two? Yeah, th two of them. Wow. Both mid shirt mid ships, I think. Haha, <laughs> way to end it. <laughs> well, I think I outgunned them, outclassed them. Really, I was kind of surprised at how weak the French battleship battle. There were there were supposed to be battle cruisers, but really those remind me of uh, 
the German Scharnhorst and Nisenel, uh, with I think they had like nine inch guns as well against the German battle cruisers and Invincible and Inflexible, Invincible and Indomitable or uh, one of those. The names all blur together after a while. Invincible, Indomitable, Inflexible, all those. Well, hope you enjoyed it, had fun, and I'll see you next video.